Hey guys, Sylvia here. I just came back from the most Asianist store I've ever gone to. And I found this! Strawberry Kit Kats, and I'm going to try them. Uh, first of all, I just found out that my camera can flip. So now I can see myself better. That's why I'm not looking at the lens. I'm looking at the side screen right here. And I didn't know it could flip. That's So now you don't have to see my zooming in chin just like last time I finally got sub 20 single on one handed 3x3 three three. Um, this concave cube um, I sanded the the defects of the plastics and it turns way better now smooth it's just that it pops a lot so I'll make a, I'll make a full review on all these um, late Christmas cubes. It's very late, so. Another thing, um, you may hear background noises. That's my family. My fam. And I'm dying to try this out because my mom won't let me until I record this. So let's just try it out. Eh, I can't open this. So this is gonna be like the green tea, the cat thing, the jig. It's just as always. Um, what else? I don't know, that's nothing much. I can't open this for some reason. I have a scissor. I knew that. Easiest. Oh my god. The smell. This smells good already. Oh, I'm. Oh, I love the smell. I can smell it already. It's it smells. Pretty, I'm not lying. It smells like um those gummy strawberry ones. Oh my god. It is. It smells bomb. Holy hell. It is strong. That's pretty strong. But it is amazing. Oh yeah, that's a very strong strawberry flavor. But I'm going to kill myself by eating a lot of these. Um, I might make more videos. I might make like hexagonal Francisco variants. Maybe thinking about like secret sub, no not secret, like subsets that would pretty much get you fast into OH. Because for some reason my OH is faster than my two-handed solves. Even though I'm just a beginner cuber and for some reason I become faster in one-handed and then slow and two-handed. It's just weird. I don't know why. I'm getting faster at skew, but I kind of use uh, a underrated method, which is Ronza Advanced Ronza. But to be honest, I kind of like Advanced Ronza though because Ronza method, it's pretty useful, and I kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of better than Sarah's because it's fewer moves. And plus, it's fewer cases for advanced Sarah's. So, it's like advanced Sarah's cases, but with blocks already built. Or like, one center already solved. And then so, that's it's easier to recognize. And it's it makes advanced cases much easier to recognize and fewer to do. And that's it. Um... I don't know what else I should talk about. I'm going to get a new scube, which would be magnetic. Um, oh, I forgot to show you something. I got this from GameStop. And I got a Rubik's Cube lamp. This is huge, though. But what sucks about it is that, one, I can't lubricate this, because it's 
electricity inside. Two, the reason why is because it's so stiff as heck. See, I can't even turn it right now, so you now have to turn it back. In that, it lights up. I could show it to you. It lights up like that. It looks pretty cool. It's a lamp. So, you know, if you guys want me to solve a Rubik's cube in the dark, then go ahead and um, comment and let's see how many people wants to watch me solve a Rubik's cube in the dark. A uh, fun fact about me, speaking of darkness, I am actually scared of being in the dark alone. So I'm kind of like nightophobia, if that's what it's called. Um, like, if I'm in like pitch black darkness with someone, then I'm not really that scared. But with like alone in a weird room, or especially bigger spaces, and then just complete darkness, I'll be terrified as hell. I'm not lying. Um, but yeah, I got that from GameStop, which is pretty weird, because there are no Rubik's products in GameStop. Come on, it's GameStop. It's video games only. But nope. Got my Rubik's Cube lamp right here. That's pretty much it. I just want to try Kit Kats, so yay. Probably finish those in a heartbeat. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, wait. And I might also make another video that how to speed solve this Ivy Cube. I'm only 10, sub 10 on it, but I wish I was sub 3. Because there, there are sub 3 cubers with this. And I, I actually do want to learn how. But I can, I might make a video of speed cubing methods I just came up with as an idea. And so I might post that up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.